Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today we're gonna talk about freeze pipe and how we can calculate them in Plexus. But before I start, if you're interested in engineering and you love learning, just subscribe to my YouTube channel, it will be a great help for you. So first of all, what is a freeze pipe? It's not something that's very common. Uh, I advise you to do it as a project for a university project because uh, it's not done very often at work. So a freeze pipe is usually used in uh, tunnel construction. So what is a freeze pipe? A freeze pipe is a pipe that will cool the water below zero for it to freeze the soil. So the soil will be freezed there will be no flow anymore in the soil like that every uh, you can const, uh, continue the tunnel construction without the water being a problem because the water will be freezed so we're gonna model this in Texas <coughs> this is the layout this is the tunnel and it's uh, 15 meters below ground level so first of all this tutorial is for advanced uh, people if you're a beginner I advise you to watch my videos on this YouTube channel from the start there's a video for beginner and there's uh, part one two three in order for you to be good at Lexus so I'm not gonna draw it I'm just gonna show you how we're gonna draw it this is the input and then in the constant tab sheet we're gonna set T water and T ref to 283 and the constant uh, tab sheet so uh, this is uh, this is our project this is the file this is the file properties these are the constant here this is tref we're going to change it to 283 it's approximately minus 23 uh, celsius this is kelvin degree so I'm gonna continue. We're gonna model the soil. This is the soil that we'll model. Uh, we're gonna model it. It's uh, more Coulomb and it's drained. Then we're gonna assign a thermal tab to the soil. So how are we gonna assign a thermal tab? We go to material, edit. This is the thermal tab. So for this we're gonna see how this the water will act for a certain degree. So this is the degree and this is how the water usually acts for the 273 Kelvin. One till it comes to zero. You can use this graph and other, uh, and other uh, plexus, uh, plexus exercises also. So after defining the plexus terminal, we're going to define the freeze pipe the freeze pipe are made from 10 centimeters pipes and we're going to model them as lines and then we're going to select the lines and assign a thermal flow for the water and we're going to assign the boundary uh, for the freeze pipe So here it is, we're going to select the behavior 1 kilowatt per, per square meter per Kelvin. This is it here, this is the freeze pipe. These are the freeze pipe here. We can select them by selecting lines. So this is the first one, it's closed. You can see the thermal flow here these are the thermal flow for each and every one after defining the thermal flow for the lines we're gonna generate the calculation mode so these are the calculation phases <coughs> I will leave a, a copy of this PDF in uh, the comment section uh, section in order for you to see uh, 
how to, in order for you to know how we can draw this tutorial so let's see the results for the results I'm gonna show you how the freeze pipe will help us by the way we've drawn the tunnel but it has no value it's only for the coarseness of the mesh so here you can go to stress heat flow temperature you can see that here it's uh, 250 which is zero here it's 280 we can go and see for the ground flow pore pressure and you can see the ground flow it's zero here so there's no water flow which will allow us to construct the tunnel with no problem here you can see the flow around the tunnel and if we can see the the flow we can see that the heat flow is going this way which is the direction of the flow of the water so this is it for this tutorial if you have any question just leave them in the comment section